All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and it is time for Simplex 4010 Test 5. Spectra Alert. This is kind of a requested test. I was going through my Google Forms survey. Again, that survey is still active. You can hit the little G under the cover photo of my channel or find it in the About section where it says, Tell Me What to Do. I actually listen. I've been trying really hard to do these. Some of them are kind of fun. This was kind of a requested test. It didn't say specifically for this panel, but the request said to do more door holders and spectra alerts. So I was like, all right, let's do that. Got it on my 4010. 4010's on a door holder. We got spectra alert advance, spectra alert advance. And then over here for the remote strobe is the spectra alert classic. And it is just the strobe hooked up. 15 candela, 30 candela, and 30 candela. So, I guess, I guess because we're already doing this, we'll go into what's up here. We have these, uh, my gosh, not simplex. We'll move this TV out of the way. FCI MS2 dual action lift, then pull pull station. Got that smoke detector up there. Over here is my Oath APS-10, is it dash? Dash 10, I couldn't remember if I had a T in it or not. Dash 10 pull station. Same door holder there, same smoke in there, same smoke up there, and then my notifier, BGX101L, which I made conventional and then put on an addressable panel because, you know, that's what you do. So, let's actually start kind of pulling stuff. We'll have, we'll have some fun with this. Um, these are like weirdly out of sync. I think it's, I can't, I kind of switched them around. I think it's this one that gets a little behind of that one because again the simplex panel there's no system sensor sync through it these it, it's just it's set to normal just horn operation continuous output on my panel there's no fancy sync or coding or anything just flat out the power so remember one of my horns is also bad um so it sounds like a hot mess but it's kind of a cool hot mess so we're gonna do it Ah, oh, I love this guy. He's my favorite. I just, um, for the first time in my life, saw one of these in service. So, let's pull it. Let's reset the pull station and the panel. I'm actually going to throw the panel, if I can actually press the button, into reset while I reset the pull station. So we don't have to wait as long, as long as I can find my FCI key. I'm still getting used to this new key ring because I got a lot of new keys. Here it is. I love that pull station so much. I love that pull station. Uh, where's my beaky? <laughs> and because, you know, there's a request for door holders, door back up. Let's go pull the notifier pull station. Put that back there. Let's pull this guy. And we are going to leave the panel in alarm. Those strobes stop flashing because they are two wire devices and that guy keeps flashing along. And we'll come over here and we will pull point three. Let's do it. Thank you. 
something definitely happened to that alarm um because even the uh the uh strobe sounds different i don't know what happened i don't know if it got dropped or something i don't remember dropping it uh something's not right in that one it's special um where did all my screwdrivers go gotta get one this is gonna be fun to reset with one hand wedge screwdriver in y'all just laugh away as i do this well that's different how did i do that <laughs> it's up I've never done that before. Let's try that again. There we go. I kind of hate resetting that full station. Not gonna lie. And we'll throw a nice little reset in the panel. Close the door. Stay keys. And then I don't think we're going to do anything with the uh, smokes today. Just waiting for a panel reset to grab the door. Any day now. Any day now. There we go. And then I think just for fun, go to my big key ring. We'll key test the notifier station. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.